Hello and welcome back to my channel where we discuss investments in disruptive innovation. I'm sure that you've noticed that more and more automakers expressing interest or have already announced plans to develop electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, also known as eVTOLs. In this video, we will take a look at South Korea's automaker Hyundai, which announced plans to develop its own eVTOL. Let's start from the beginning. On January 2020, Hyundai unveiled its S-A1 eVTOL program at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Hyundai announced that it aims to have a full-scale prototype ready for test flights in 2023 and targeting type certification in 2028. That is approximately four years after the likes of Jabi and Lilium project to obtain type certification. The four-seat aircraft will initially be piloted, but as autonomous capabilities mature, it will transition to autonomous operation. The fully electric, winged aircraft features four sets of stacked co-rotating propellers for vertical flight and four tilting propellers for both vertical and forward flight. It is designed to take off and land vertically and transition to wing-borne lift in cruise. Once the craft reaches its cruising altitude, the propellers tilt to face forward, converting the vehicle to a fixed-wing configuration similar to an airplane. In this more efficient mode, the all-electric aircraft is projected to be able to fly up to around 60 miles, that is around 100 kilometers, with a target cruise speed of up to 180 miles per hour, that is 290 kilometers per hour, while cruising at between 1,000 and 2,000 feet, which is roughly 300 to 600 meters. To me, it seems like a fairly low altitude for cruise, don't you think? Well, in any case, a key design goal is for the aircraft to be able to fully charge within 5 to 7 minutes during peak operating hours. That is a very ambitious goal, if you ask me. They must be cramming some serious current into that battery, which is not optimal for longevity. Now, upon reaching its destination, the aircraft converts back to eVTOL mode before setting down on a helipad. The aircraft has multiple safety features, including distributed electric propulsion, powering multiple rotors and propellers around the airframe to increase safety by decreasing any single point of failure. An emergency parachute will also be a standard feature in case a catastrophe would occur. The flight computer will be able to quickly change each electric motor speed independently of each other, which keeps the aircraft horizontal, which should provide a smoother ride, even in gusty wind conditions. The company stated that passenger comfort is included into the design of the aircraft, with 2x2 seating, eliminating the middle row, allowing each passenger to sit next to a window and enjoy the scenery during the flights and in addition have enough room for their luggage. However, the company did not specify the size of the luggage the aircraft would be able to accommodate. Hyundai claims that their electric aircraft will be much quieter than the conventional helicopters with smaller and multiple rotors rotating at a much slower speeds than the main rotor of a typical helicopter. Hyundai somewhat confusingly refers to the SA-1 as a personal air vehicle, even though it is intended for air taxi operations carrying four passengers. The company's strategy calls for the aircraft to be part of a wider mobility ecosystem that would also include new purpose-built vehicles to carry passengers to and from flights that would operate from so-called skyport facilities. Now, that just sounds like a fancy name for a helipad. The company's head of urban air mobility, who joined the company from NASA, stated that at Hyundai, we know how to mass produce high quality vehicles with cost efficiency and reliability, 
which is a key enabler for reducing overall operating costs. We are confident that our experience and insight as a mass producer of vehicles will give us a significant advantage to achieve affordability of our urban air mobility vehicles. Hyundai showed off a mock-up of its eVTOL aircraft during a press conference at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, in which it also announced partnership with Uber Elevate to develop air taxi for Uber's future aerial rideshare network. However, the fate of this partnership is unclear at this time, given that Jabi Aviation has since acquired Uber Elevate. Would Jabi elect to partner with other eVTOL manufacturers as part of the Uber Elevate program? That seems unlikely to me. As of October 2021, Hyundai had gone almost an entire year without providing any significant update on progress with the development of the aircraft. Alright, that is pretty much all we know about this aircraft at this time. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think Hyundai would be able to catch up with the likes of Jabi and Lilium? Do you believe electric vehicle automakers that announce plans to develop eVTOL aircraft have any competitive advantage such as electric propulsion know-how and mass production experience and capabilities over eVTOL startups such as Lilium and Jabi? I would like to know what you think. Alright, that is all for today. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!